a new series on Icewind Dale Enhanced Edition, which is a modified version of the 2000 game Icewind Dale, which the original was made by Black Isle. Uh, and the Enhanced Edition is made by, well, if you want to say made by Beamdog. Uh, basically, it's a role playing game that uses the D&D uh, &D rules and whatnot in order to create the world. I don't know, man. Like, shit. Uh, don't derail me here. Uh, so, without further uh, waiting, let's get started, I suppose. If I need any more information, I'll clue you in. Uh, they sort of psyched you out with the party here, but I don't like to use it, so I just sort of get rid of everything. Uh, so... Ah, uh, I swear, I think I'm just gonna alternate between me men and women and try to find someone who doesn't look awful. I think I'm gonna start with a fighter. Uh, sure, this, this guy looks good because I usually like the, because each race sort of has their own, uh, attributes, uh, like humans have, yeah, they have that. Uh, I'm gonna sneeze. Okay, it went away. Uh, elves have... Well... <coughs> I told you. But you didn't listen. Uh, humans are basically better thieves, it seems. Elves have resistance to that, resistance to charm and sleep magic, which is pretty good. They have infravision, which makes, lets them see in the dark. They have plus one uh, let's just call this the ability to hit, because it's called two hit armor class zero. It's sort of an obscure thing, uh, but make a long story short, they have a bonus to hit with bows, short swords, and long swords. Same CV stuff. Basically, humans are worthless. Uh, well, not worthless. They don't have any good things going for them because it seems they have this too. And they have one dexterity minus one constitution, so they're quicker. Well. They're harder to hit, but they take, they don't have, they have less health. Uh, half elves are like a watered down version of elves, where they just get a weaker version of what they have. Gnomes are sort of, uh, better mages, but they're restricted to a certain type of mage, which they don't tell you here, but it's true. Halflings make good thieves, uh, dwarves make Good, uh, good fighters usually, but half orcs also make good fight, make better fighters, but more uh, blundering. I don't know what to call it. Uh, and dwarves are more like uh, halflings, except not stealthy. So I'm just gonna pick a half orc, and I can pick barbarian or fighter, but I'm gonna pick fighter because barbarian can't wear. Uh, I don't think they can wear as heavy as armor, and they, yeah, they can't wear past slip, slip mail, and they can't, they, they can't be as skilled in weapons. Just nearly died from a coughing fit there. Uh, so yeah, uh, back to this. <clears throat> I'm just gonna pick fighter, because I don't like specializing the class too much, because most of them come with a negative, but I don't really like to take with fighters, because the rest of them limit you in some way, even though <clears throat> Berserker isn't too bad, really. I just don't use Rage, so there's no point in doing it. So, yeah, and I'm, the alignments don't really matter, but <clears throat> they might, and I may be an idiot, but I just pick Chaotic Evil, because it makes my brain feel good. Uh, so yeah, then this, what you want to be f focusing on is the total roll down here, uh, and you usually want to get it, because everything else is, I just miss an 80 fucking 6, dismissible because you only need total points, you can allocate them however you wish. It's kind of a dumb system, because you could just sit here forever and keep doing this. I. That was higher than my last roll as well, but I just skipped past it because it's you get in this robotic state of just clicking 
and you might miss something it's generally pretty good I'm gonna stop in a couple oh I'll just stick with this uh so as a fighter you generally don't care about wisdom or intelligence charisma's whatever but generally you want to focus on these three if I'm gonna uh yeah you want dexterity constitution and strength generally because dexterity will raise their armor class which you want a ton of strength will make them hit real good and constitution will make them hit, get hit real bad will have more hit points so if they get hit real good they can be like nah that was actually bad so yeah I'm glad I could educate you on the nat nat nature of things yeah. uh, what I generally want to focus on, I generally focus on sword and shield for a fighter but this time around, I'm thinking of going risky, so I'm gonna go with uh, two-handed weapon. Uh, yeah, because it uh, <clears throat> fighters, well, it's sort of self-explanatory. They hit really well, and proficiency generally it tells you over here in the side. They get uh, bonus or things. They hit hit more often. They get to hit first. Things like that. It just does things like that. It makes them hit faster, get, makes them hit first, makes them hit harder. That's all you need to know about proficiency, really. And then you just customize your little guy here. I'm just going to make him... Oh, that's his hair. Okay. He's going to be blue. <clears throat> uh, his clothes. I'm going to make it like that. Oh, and here, here's this. You get to pick your voice as well. Here I come. And the hells come with me. Uh, that's fine. I, I like that. And this Here is the same I thing. Come, and the hells come with me. Uh, well, here, let me look around for you. I'll take care. The silent blade cuts best. I like that one, Here though. I come. Gods grant me strength. You'll soon sleep with the dead. Uh, just steal yourselves. I'll wash me beard in your blood. Attack! Well, looks like I'm like to the pain. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah. Watch your back! It is a shame that we must resort to violence. Come then. Ah. Uh. <clears throat> I like that. Uh, so he's gonna be. Uh, come then. With, with uh, ellipses. <laughs> uh, that's. I, th there's our. The leader of our party. Uh, come then. Uh, so. <clears throat> next person. Uh, I, sh uh, sure. I'll go with that. And then. Uh, I think I'm gonna make this like a. Like a halfling, I think. We're gonna make this our thief character. Uh, and I'm gonna pick assassin because it makes it makes him pretty good in combat, especially with backstabs and things like that. Uh, but it gets rid of some of their thieving abilities, but I don't really mind because even though it uh, it only gets rid of ten. Uh, so I, I generally couldn't care. Like, it, it, it's, it's whatever, really. Uh, even those thieving abilities are good, I, I like them to be good in combat. And I know that the portrait doesn't match at all, but just use your, I think it's fine. I'm gonna go with this. I'm just I don't want to sit through here and, like, have it go through like 30 turns, 30 turns, 30 rolls, and it'd be like, well, you know, you get nothing. And I'm gonna try to do the thing, same thing with strength and constitution, because that generally makes it pretty good. Uh, generally makes it pretty good. Sometimes I don't realize what I'm saying, but. I'll stick to that, because it makes him hit harder, and this person's gonna do a little bit of combat. So here are all your thieving skills, you're all sort of self-explanatory. I don't really want set traps, because they aren't 
they they do they are useful, but I generally find that they can be a little bit scummy because they can kill. I don't want pickpocket either. It's so that's too risky. I don't like that. I'm I'm not very bold or brave, so I'm just sort of like, man, eh, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, so I'm gonna go with move silently and hide in shadows as well. And I'll hit the rest and find traps because that's a really important skill to have. <laughs> Otherwise, you can just get murdered by something you didn't even know exists. I'm gonna go with daggers because it ups the backstab chance, even though I'm probably not gonna backstab too much, which is gonna make me look like a moron since I didn't do anything with it. And I like that they give you black, but why can't you select that in the. See, you can't select that in the thing. You have to. has to give it to you. I wish the. One thing I have, it's like a nitpicky complaint, but I wish they would have added that in the Enhanced Edition to at least change that. Uh, because it, it will at least add that color in if they're going to put it as a thing, because, I don't know, it seems like laziness they didn't do it, but... You would do well to fear a woman's wrath. I don't like that. Your time draws near. Let's spill some blood. Your time. I will do my best to keep us out of harm's way. That was fucking wordy as hell, man. I'm picking that. Um. Okay. Owl wor wordy. Owl 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 wordy. Owl because she's wor and she has an owl. Owl owl. Ah, I could. Ow, 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 wordy. There, there we go. I know, it's, I'm pretty intelligent sometimes. Uh, another... This, and maybe go... What, what should I do next? Maybe a cleric? A cleric? He's not a cleric. I have a lot of... Sure, I'm, I'm, I'm cool with that. We can be friends. Uh... Make them a half-elf, maybe? Can half-elves be cleric? They can be cleric, so yeah, half-elf. Uh... All these... Basically, you don't want to not pick one of these. Because they all give you a special ability, basically. Uh, and I should add that the original Icewind Dale didn't have all this, so... Yeah, these are things from Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition 1 and 2. Which I also think is a little bit lazy that they just sort of dragged and dropped it in here. It was... Uh, but that's a different thing. Uh, I'm gonna pick this because it's just, the rest of these are pretty good, to be honest. But at the same time... Like, I don't know. Because those are super good. I might pick... I might actually pick this, because True Sight is really good. Ah... Uh... Ah... Uh... Oh, it's such a hard decision, because this one, it gives... I don't use Lightning Bolt that much. And True Sight is pretty good. I'm gonna go with that. It dispels illusion as well as I can keep an evil party. <coughs> uh oh, that's the best roll I've gotten so far. Uh I don't know what I'm gonna be honest, I take things out of things like charisma. Because I don't I don't think intelligent does anything for him. Uh, it might, and I'm just a moron, but... Yeah, I take things out of charisma because I don't know what it does. That's literally... And I've played this game... Like, I've beaten... At least, I've beaten this before I've beaten Baldur's... Not the Enhanced Edition, but I've beaten this before I've beaten Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate 2, like, tons of times. So... and But I have no clue what those do. It definitely shows my... Sort of ignorance towards the game. <laughs> I know they can affect certain conversations, but other than that, I don't, I don't really know. 
Uh, sure, I'll go with that. Uh, and then sword and shield style. Uh, and then you pick your spells, which is interesting looking to the spell system, but uh, I'm gonna pick obviously heal because I'm a cleric. Move fear because that can be really annoying when it happens with a whole bunch, and then maybe a debuff. This one, I'm feeling. Uh, this will weaken one enemy. But basically, all, none of these things are particularly good. This affects a whole bunch. Uh, you're not sure. That can be pretty effective with things. I'm gonna try to go with accurate. Kind of accurate, except he has white hair, but... There isn't... He's not as dark as that guy, but it doesn't matter. He's... He, I'm colorblind, so I'm not even gonna try to match what he's wearing. I'm gonna go with that. That looks... That looks... Here I come, and the hell's come with me. Uh... He could be like that other guy's thing. He could be, uh... Come with me yeah I I'm pretty good sometimes uh the so next person could be our mage I want to look for someone who doesn't look like cancer uh Uh, all these. You're kind of, you're kind of alright, I guess. You're showing some Clevo, but like I don't want that. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna pick Mild Mage here because I don't. These take away certain spell things, and this one, you don't get spells quick enough. I don't. I think I'm gonna pick Wild Mage. Gives you one more additional spell use. It gives you. These which only affect, basically the only one that does something important is this, the Hall's Reckless Dwarmer, Dwarmer, whatever, however it's, uh, which lets you cast anything in your spell book. Everything else is sort of make sure this goes better or any other, other spells go better. Basically, Wild Mage, it has you a 5% chance of occurring a Wild Surge, which randomly casts a certain, a like a spell effect. Like, you might try to do a buff on yourself and accidentally petrify yourself. But that's very... <laughs> that's a very extreme example. Uh... Yeah, it's a 5% chance of happening. So it's a little bit risky to pick this, but... I don't mind too much. And I passed up the 81, because I didn't... I usually, like... 82 or higher? I'm gonna store that. Okay, this is what we're picking, then. Bring down Charisma first, and Wisdom. I don't need Wisdom. Yes, gonna boost all three of these, just because. Uh, ooh, Dexterity, girl. This will make sure that, well, that's rude. Uh, this will make sure that my Dexterity is high, so that I can, oh, probably, uh, it, it ups my armor class, and I like that. Uh, so I'm gonna pick a sling, because it allows me to attack from a distance. Which is better than getting up close. Uh, obviously. Uh, <laughs> and you have to pick this as one of your things, or it won't let you go forward. Uh, so I'm gonna... Well, at least your first level. Afterwards, you can just pick whatever. Uh, I'm gonna pick Identify, and maybe... Chromatic Orb, because I prefer it over Magic Missile, especially early on, because this takes until the third level to be sort of useful. While this one, it can, it already starts useful because it does this, they both do, this is 1d4 plus 1, this just is 1d4, but it's the second level does 1d6, and it also does, it'll reduce their armor class where it blinds them, and eventually gets so powerful that it just paralyzes them for 13 rounds, which is like a third, a solid minute of them not being able to defend themselves, which I rather like. So the first one I'm gonna pick is... Oh, you have to pick two, and you have to pick this one, so I'm gonna also pick this, just so I have something offensive. Uh, so yeah, and it gives you this cool color, like, they don't give you that for anyone else, but they're just like... Like, you can't pick this, uh, color for your character. Once again, I, I want that. 
So like, give her this. She's old and she's really purple. It's like being blue, but like being way past. You would do blue. well to fear a woman's wrath. Yeah, I didn't like that. Uh. Let me at him. That's very well. I'll lead. I, I shall slay you all. I get all shield. Prepare to be destroyed. Die, fool. <laughs> it is only right that I lead. Oh yeah. I am tired. We must stop. She sounds like it is foolish to waste time like this. She reminds me of Ursula from the little mermaid, so uh Ursella. Ursella I like change it to an E to make it better. Ursella. That's right, that's good, right? Uh so next I don't know what we need now. Uh, maybe an archer, uh, because archers can be pretty useful. You usually want something like this guy has a bow. He, he's like masked. He's like, ooh, you don't want none of this. Uh, so you can have, I think only like humans, maybe someone else. Like I might be wrong, but I think only humans could be this. Uh, so I'm gonna pick archer. You know, they can't wear metal armor or be proficient with melee weapons and all that shit. They can have grand mastery of longbows, which is what I really, really want. Really, really want. Uh, but they're basically like a... A weaker version of a fighter, a ranger usually is. Except they can pass druid spells at level six and they can charm animals and do sick things like that it's not particularly pa oh he can't charm animals but at the same time uh same time I don't care oh he has to be good though it ruins my party thing, but it, I, I don't think it does anything. Like I said, I, don't, I think that does... Oh, no, it's Druid Bards and Paladins. I don't need that. Oh! I don't need that either. I'll give it one, though, because I think it does something for Druids, Druid Spells, Druid, Druid Sandstorm. I don't get... I don't understand. Oh, this is port for Rangers! Yeah, I... Yeah, I... I'm gonna drop it down one more. Ooh, do, 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 do. Yeah, I think I'm gonna be fine with that. Uh, yeah. These aren't great, but... Well, it is... I have a lot of points, so don't talk to me, but... You know, it could be better, you never know. You never, you never know. Uh, I'm gonna go with a longbow. Because that... Those are generally pretty good. Uh... And maybe, just to defend myself, a halberd? In case anything gets close, like, sure, I can't do too much with it, but halberd, and then a crossbow, just in case I find an amazing crossbow, I doubt I will, but, you know, just in case. Uh, this one's your racial enemy. It, basically, you get to pick who you're racist against, and you do extra damage because you get real mad at them. Basically, but I know a couple things about the game, so I'm not gonna pick these because it's really Specific and I don't remember that specifically, so I'm gonna go with Yuan T Because I'm pretty sure they play a role in the game it, Any like any of these you're gonna I Imagine there's a right one to pick, but I'm just I'm just gonna pick the pick. I don't like this guy's face Humans are kind of gross looking. I'm gonna give him it, that's not as pasty as I wanted, but, you know, you, you get what you choose. Uh, so, yeah. Here I come, and the hells come with me. Um, Gods grant me strength. I would be honored. Oh, the demons of sleep hound me. I need rest. I thought he said demons of sleep pound me. 
That's also his name. Demon, de demons pound me. Yeah. Uh, so now the last person. Uh, maybe a dru druid, a druid. Mm. I think maybe that'll be alright. Even though I, I only have one melee person, which is sort of scary, but. Uh, go for a paladin. I think I'm just going with what I have. I think it'll be alright. If it isn't, I'll just screw up and die. Hopefully that won't happen, though, because that sounds sort of shitty, but. Uh. Yeah, also I should point out that this is not going to be like, this will most likely not be a full playthrough because I'm mostly doing this because I want something, well, I'm just doing this to do this really, uh, and I'm probably going to start recording The Binding of Isaac Rebirth on Tuesday, so, uh, or late Monday, <laughs> well, to, technically Tuesday for, for me, a Monday, you know, y you understand, uh, but... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do, uh, and also because I didn't want to do Super Win the Game anymore, because I got sort of, uh, there were some technical issues that were sort of really bad, so I didn't want to do that, but, uh, anyway, this is actually kind of cool. Uh, I'm almost tempted to go... To be like Iron Man, uh, but these are pretty good too because you can summon your spirit animal. Like you can summon a lion, a spirit lion, a spirit snake. But when you're Iron Man, you can turn into a baby Godzilla. But you have that, but... Oh, some of this is pretty sick. I, I don't want- I don't care about shape. Shape shifter is trash. Uh... Oh... A one hit. It starts out pretty garbage, but... I'm gonna- I'll... Bleak. And also you get this, too. You can cast Chain Lightning, which is fucking amazing. Oh, God. It's, it's difficult to... I'm... Oh. I'm gonna go with this. You know, get I can get... Turn into Baby Godzilla. I already... Well, I have what I'm gonna use, so, like, there's no reason to... Uh, da -da 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 -da. I never like turning things, like, down to nothing. But, like, there's pro There isn't... I think there's absolutely no reason to have any intelligence on this character. Uh, so... Probably bump up... Some of it, just so they're not pathetically weak. I probably shouldn't have it down this slow. Maybe take down the Constitution more. Just so I'm not, like... Uh... Brain damaged... Or something. Like, it starts out and I have, like, an axe in my head and it's just like, Well, you can't walk. I don't think it's gonna do that though. Uh, anyway, it's not like Fallout where that actually <laughs> makes a huge difference. Uh, I'm gonna. I don't really need too much of it. I'll go with like a spear and then two handed weapons. Uh, but yeah. I don't really need healing, but it'd be pretty good. Uh, there's Sun Scorch, which is. A pretty good, it, like it'll do some good damage early on, it blinds them as well, makes it harder for them to hit. That's pretty sick, actually. Uh, uh, I usually like Druid to be more offensive than... Uh, a cler even though Clerics have some really good offensive spells. No, I don't want two. Uh, also, this isn't like a mage, they can 
all these spells you're always at the repertoire, they don't have to learn spells. Maybe Doom, because it'll hurt people real good. Maybe second, 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 no, maybe second this. And no Doom, just second this. Uh, just because it's early on, and I can just, like, ruin someone's life by calling them names. Uh, so I'm gonna make her, like, did I make her, like, I think I made her a little person, but she's tall. Her image, I mean. And I haven't picked... Okay, yeah, I haven't picked any blue. And then that color... I'm colorblind, so I don't know what that other color I picked is. Ah... Uh, your time draws near. Let me at him. Steal yourselves. I almost want to do that, but it feels me. Follow me. Even I need to rest once in a while. Come on, I need some action. Oh, she sounds sort of like a... Uh, like a 80s rock singer. Like she was the female lead to a band. But she could be like... Oh god, I can't remember the band's name. Bands... Oh, he's more than one. Or, like, his name is... Her name, I mean, is Bands. But it'd be, like, also, like, a... It could be, like, Bands name. There's no space. So, like, a... Twitch, uh... Icon. Whatever. Uh, so, here is... Uh... Yeah... This is, this is my party, and it's been quite a, uh, uh, that looks sort of like all lordy, uh, but I, uh, think I'm probably gonna end the episode too, but I'm gonna start this first just so you get like a, because it's been about an hour, but, uh, just so you can get a feel of what, what is ahead. Our tale begins here, in the quiet fishing village of East Haven, one of the so-called Ten Towns of Icewind Dale. The tiny community is hardly a town, but rather a collection of ramshackle huts crowded together upon the icy shores of Lac Dinashir. Here, within a dimly lit tavern, a group of travelers sit huddled around a table, swapping tales and making grand plans for the future, completely unaware of the part they are to play in the events that are about to unfold. What's this? New face in town, eh? Well met, stranger. The name is Rothgar, originally of Hillsfar. But now, after years of traveling up, down, and under Faerun, I am content to call this town my home. Who might you be? So here goes the first bit of uh, gameplay, you might want to call it, but... Well, not really. You can, you can choose what you want to say to him. I'm not going to be a dick. Well then, welcome to East Haven. Whatever your business in these parts might be, I would offer you this small piece of advice. While you're in my town, you'd do well to be on your best behavior. A formal dinner? These folk are under my protection, and anyone who would seek to do harm to them in any way shall answer to me. That said, I'll let you get back to your cups. I'm sure you've had a long journey, and you'll find there's no better way to shake off the cold of the road than by downing a few mugs of Grisella's best. And if you're in need of lodging, I would recommend talking to Quimby over at the Snowdrift Inn, over on the east side of town. Equipment and supplies can be purchased next door, at Pomob's Emporium. Uh, Pomob's prices are a bit high, even for a Kalashite. But you'd be better off well-equipped and short of coin than the other way around. Ill-prepared travelers don't last long in these parts. Who's racist? This. Once you've had a chance to rest up and get your bearings, come by and see me at my house. It's just Should a couple doors west here. There's some business I would discuss with you. Farewell. But anyway, uh, that's going to be it for the first video. So uh, tune in to the next one, and it'll be real good. Not a bunch of menus. So goodbye.